Hey everybody, this is Jason Silverstein with the New York Daily News. What kind of health violations are lurking in the average New York kitchen? We were afraid to find out, but we did. We got two city health inspectors to come and check out my editor's apartment in Windsor Terrace, Brooklyn, and see how many points it would rack up and what grade it would score. And here's what they found. It looks impeccable, right? Pretty perfect kitchen. I wish mine was this nice. At the surface, they didn't find anything wrong, but the more they looked, the more points this kitchen racked up. The biggest cause for concern was this refrigerator. The inspectors liked how the food was separated and organized, but there was one major problem, the temperature. When they measured it, it turned out to be 50 degrees, well above the recommended level of 38 to 40 degrees. And there was an extra violation for not having a thermometer that told you the actual temperature. This one just gives a vague measure of hot or cold. The freezer was almost as bad. As you can see here, you have meats packed right alongside things that should absolutely not be with meat, like strawberries and ice cream. Those violations alone would have scored enough points to give this kitchen a C rating. But there were other unofficial mistakes that he would have got a warning for, and which still made for a pretty nasty place to eat. Check out this sponge by the sink. Would you want this cleaning your plates and your surfaces? You have to make sure that it's clean before you clean with it. And look at how gnarly that dish in the dishwasher is. You have to wash them before putting them in, otherwise it could lead to vermin. This might sound like small stuff, but it's very easy to overlook and it adds up. What kind of health hazards might be lurking in your kitchen? Now you have an idea, but there's always the chance that there's many more that you aren't aware of. Happy eating!